how to use AI to grow an e-commerce business. I won't delve into theoretical discussions about using ChatGPT for creating product descriptions or writing blog posts, nor will I touch on using DALI and Midjourney for generating images for your website and social media. I'll assume that in March 2024, it is obvious to you that ChatGPT is a commonplace. Much like Google, everybody knows about it. So, since you've clicked on this video and decided to invest your valuable time in watching it, I want to deliver true value. I'm going to provide you with a ready-to-use AI chatbot powered by a GPT model and capable of recommending products to your users based on their needs. Let me show you a quick demo right away. Imagine this as a website for an e-commerce brand selling pet products. On the right hand side, I've already added our AI chatbot. Let's start a new chat and I'll ask, do you have any dental toys for my dog? And the chatbot suggested a dental chew stick. Now I can visit the product page or make a purchase directly from this chatbot window and it will redirect me to to the checkout page okay it also replied yes we have a dental chew stick that would be perfect for your dog's dental health nice let's try something else what about something for the development of my pet maybe a puzzle or something like that this time it suggested two products the tug of war rope for interactive play and the puzzle treat dispenser for mental stimulation and problem solving and this puzzle treat dispenser is exactly what i had in mind so the chatbot clearly understood my need and recommended the relevant products and that's huge because one of the key factors in growing an e-commerce business is increasing the conversion rate for sales one way to do this is to minimize the friction for users to find the relevant products and make a purchase from personal experience i know that i need to spend a lot of time going through product categories doing my research reading product descriptions and finding out which specific product i need to buy sometimes you don't even have a specific product in mind you have a need to satisfy right you have a problem to solve so you can go to that ai chatbot describe your problem and it will recommend a specific product to solve your problem to satisfy your need and that will drastically increase the conversion rate. You can build a chatbot like this using VoiceFlow as a chatbot builder and connecting it to a list of your products stored in Airtable. So VoiceFlow and Airtable and you can get it done. Now I'm going to show you how this chatbot is built. It might seem a bit complicated, but relax, you don't have to actually build it. I'm going to attach a template in the video description. You can import it directly into your VoiceFlow and just make a few changes to adapt it to your specific requirements and to your business. By the way, if you find it difficult to use the template for your needs, it's completely understandable, it might be confusing, but you can reach out directly to me and my team of developers and we can build for you a custom chatbot like this one or even more advanced to fit your business needs. Just fill out the form in the description below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, this is our chatbot in VoiceFlow. I am going to explain how it works step by step and I'll show you what you need to change to make it work with your data and with your products. Here's the start. The first block is a welcome message and you can generate a few variants of that message using AI. The next two blocks are supposed to identify if a user is asking a product question meaning if the product recommendation would be relevant here or not. If yes, it is going to run the Airtable request and you need to set your Airtable URL here. This is my table with products in Airtable. I have different columns here, product name, category, price, description, etc. To obtain your Airtable URL, go to Developers Hub, then navigate to Developer Docs. You need to select Web API here and go into your workspace. In my case, it's called Table with Products. Scroll down until you get to the List Records section and here on the right-hand side, copy this URL all the way up until the slash before sheet one. In your case, there might be a different name. That's basically the first tab in your table right here. So copy it and paste it to your voice flow, keeping the quotation marks as they are. The next block is meant to set the number of responses from Airtable. It means how many products you want to suggest to the user within one reply. I've set it to four as I want only four to pop up, but feel free to change it. You can set it to as many as you want. The next step is very important for the whole system. It takes 
the question the person asks right in the natural language and turns it into an Airtable formula. That formula gets sent to Airtable, which then sends back the products we want. And that's how we go from a question that has nothing to do with our products to the exact products that answer the question. You can see this in the system prompt. It's a big prompt and it is set up with a lot of conditions to make sure it gets the right products. This is what you have to modify. You need to change this prompt, includes your products, your categories, colors, and so on. It is very important to provide some examples of questions and answers to give it more context regarding our expectations. Next up, it's gonna send the formula to Airtable using API. So we need to generate your API key in Airtable and paste it here. In Airtable, again, go to the developer hub and click create new token. Give it a name, let's say API for voice flow. Add scopes here, I prefer to add everything that is available and then add a base. In my case, it's called table with products. Click create token, copy it, and then you have to leave bearer. Press space and then paste your token. Again, it's bearer, space, and then your token. By the way, here at the top, you have your Airtable URL slash sheet one. That's the name of the first tab in your Airtable. In case it's different for you, please make sure to change it here as well and then it should work just fine. The API response is captured and stored in a variable called AI output. This AI output will then go to a JavaScript code here that takes the Airtable data and converts it into variables. Now, the variables just let us do various operations with the data. We can output it and have it show up in the voice flow chatbot, for example. The first JavaScript function here is basically responsible for pulling all the variables from the Airtable database and outputting them the way we want. All you have to do is copy it over, replace all the column names with your own, and it should work well. The naming here should be exactly the same as in Airtable. So my columns are product name, category, price, description text, etc. And in voice flow, in this JavaScript code, the column names are identical, 100% the same. Otherwise, it wouldn't assign the variables correctly. Make sure to double check this. And of course, you can modify it. If you have different columns, you can add more variables and paste your column names accordingly. Next up, we've got some more JavaScript code. We are basically assigning a variable to each of the elements created. At first, all the elements are grouped together. Then we break them into separate variables so we can print out stuff like the price, name, image, etc. We do this four times, which matches how many responses we set up. And that way it shows four products at a time. Once we got all the variables and details sorted out, we can move on to the next step, which is to check that the products came through. It says if the variable name print is zero, that means there are no relevant products. So we provide the user with the response that there is no product found. But if there are some relevant products found, we go to the next part. Here we show the right number of products. And if there is only one product, we don't turn on the carousel feature. This part generates the message that goes with the answer the user gets. It gives a quick explanation why the recommended products are a good match to the user's need or request. And when it gets here, it will use the variables we saved in JavaScript before combined with our instructions in the prompt here. Okay, and the final step is to show the products from the Airtable query results. It is going to display the variables that correspond to the product image, name, and price, then two buttons, visit product and purchase, along with the recommended AI text that was set up in the previous section. So we've reached the end of the whole system. I understand it is quite complex. There is a lot of room for failure, but I've tried my best to point out what need to be replaced and double checked. Let me know in the comment section if you succeed in replicating this chatbot. I'll also try to answer as many of your questions as I can. But if you want a system like this, custom built for you, just fill out the form below and I'll get in touch. Additionally, if you're interested in using AI in your business, check out my other videos. I have a whole playlist with tutorials similar to this one, step-by-step -step guides on how to implement AI in your business. As always, I appreciate every one of you taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you guys, and I'll see you soon in the next one.